It's a message you see everywhere, from the TV ads to the internet. Diets and eating styles that claim to achieve rapid weight loss with, of course, little effort. While the appeal of fad diets that promise the elusive quick fix to weight loss may seem harmless, some do pose serious health risks. Nutritionist Dora Sutherland explains that even in Belize, she sees quite a few unhealthy diets gain popularity. We have to be very careful with the fat diets. Okay, fat diets are those that promote rapid weight loss, for example, losing 5 to 10 pounds in one week. Those that restrict or eliminate completely one or two food groups, which are very important for our body. Those that don't recommend any sorts of exercise. Okay, and also those that require very quick fixes, those are pro that are promoted by celebrities, because even most celebrities don't really follow the diet that they're promoting, and those that don't have any scientific evidence. One of the more popular fad diets is the ketogenic diet, which requires cutting out foods like bread, but an increasing intake of fats like bacon. The ketogenic diet is, is very common. They normally recommend to restrict carbohydrate intake as low as 5%. The uh, fat intake goes up to 75%, and then there's a moderate intake of protein between 15 to 20%. The problem with keto is that since the brain's main source of energy is carbs, okay, you start to have brain symptoms, for example, dizziness, lethargic, nausea, lots of concentration. Okay, those are the main symptoms of having a ketogenic diet. Yeah. Okay, and well, the weight loss, it is initially, initially um, body water instead of body fat. Going into ketosis is similar to having diabetic ketosis, which is found as primarily in persons with type 1 diabetes. Okay, when the blood sugar goes too low. So there is a risk of going into ketosis and the main risk is having a coma. Normally the ketogenic diet is only recommended for children that have epilepsy and the treatment does not work. The medical treatment which is the medication does not work then we'd recommend them to follow the ketogenic diet but it does require um, very strict vigilance. While it may seem obvious, Doris further warns that people with a predisposition to high cholesterol and high blood pressure will only increase their risk with this style of eating. The second diet Sutherland commonly debunks is one that requires cutting out all food and replacing with detox drinks. The lemon diet or the grapefruit detox diet is a form of cleansing. Okay, um, Normally when you do take the lemon detox diet, you, they normally recommend you have only that for an entire week with no source of other protein, no starch, but only the lemon water. Okay, now that is very dangerous, okay, if, especially if you restrict a lot of nutrients, okay, because you're starving your body for having important nutrients that, that we need for our daily activities. Okay, normally the body can clean its own self by drinking pure water and by having a high fiber intake from whole grains and beans. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't need to go through a detoxification because the body can do it on itself. You start to get weak, you start to have a lot of cravings for food. Okay, most of the symptoms are related to, to the brain. Okay, confusion, loss of memory. Okay, you do drop a lot of weight, but eventually when you start to eat, then you put it all back because you can't really go on a liquid diet for the rest of your life. Another fad that, according to Sutherland, is gaining popularity is eating foods based on your blood type. The blood type diet was created with the idea that the foods that we eat can affect the chemicals in the blood and therefore we would have a better digestion. If we look at the blood type A, where they recommend that you have a low intake in red meats and a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, a lot of whole grains, we do lose weight, okay, because that is the proper way to eat. But if we look at the blood type O, they recommend high intake of red meats and low intake of grains and vegetables, okay, whereas we see that maybe a person that has high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and has the blood type O, and they follow that diet, we can have a lot more complications than just weight loss. But it's not all bad news. There are some diets or eating styles that can help you lose weight. The Mediterranean diet is very common as well, okay? It promotes healthy eating, 
for example um, non-oily fishes a lot of vegetables fruits a lot of whole grains okay and healthy oils okay and then if you want to look for even further weight loss you can even go into what is called the plant-based diet okay where you get most of your foods from from plants okay from beans from whole grains and basically all fruits and vegetables. is that vegan vegetarian lifestyle yeah. you know yes. plant-based is similar to vegetarian the only thing is that plant-based diets they don't promote the consumption of organ non-organic foods okay plant-based is more organic more natural whole food mm -hmm.